Look what I got today. This is an old Echo chainsaw. It's a, uh, the model number is a CS550 EVL. This thing's old. According to my research, this is about 31 to 32 years old. This is old enough, guys, where the maximum RPM on this thing, suggested by the manufacturer, is 9,000 RPM. What a difference that is from today's chainsaws. Today's chainsaws, you're getting them up to 12,000, 13,000, 14,000 RPM. So this thing is old. No, it doesn't run anymore. Believe me, I just tried it outside. Today we are going to try. No, I'm going to be positive here. We are going to fix this thing so it cuts wood again. Old school chainsaw. I thought this would be appropriate to have some old Milwaukee. I think that will go good with this repair today. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to stevesmallendedsaloon.com. That's my website right there. Check my website out when you get a chance after you watch this video. Um, I'm just going to take the bar and chain off of this thing. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier for, for us to test this without all that in the way. I'm going to take the side cover off, bar and chain off. And uh, I've said on a lot of my other videos, there's three things that you need to have to make an engine like this run. You have to have spark, you have to have compression, and you have to have an adequate fuel supply. So we're going to test uh, two of those out. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the fuel supply issue because I know that this thing's been sitting. This is a 54.7 cc chainsaw. I'm just calling it a 55 cc chainsaw because it's just easier. It's close enough for me. Very first thing we have to do is just see if this thing has spark, see if it's got compression or not, and then we can move on. Now, I do have a couple other videos. If you want to see these videos, they're up in the information button right here in your top corner of your screen, as well as I got some clickable thumbnails at the end of this video that can take you that back to those two. Testing spark, testing compression. I'm going to cheat a little bit today. I'm going to show you what I do when I'm in a rush to test to make sure we have spark and compression at pretty much the exact same time. Leave your spark plug in, have everything set up, your on off switch is on. Hold your, make sure your choke is open, make sure your throttle is down so you can actually just squirt a couple little shots of carb spray in there. It's primed enough now so you can know if it has spark or compression. Let's try this. I'm gonna actually give this a pull and see what happens. Now I do realize I'm gonna nip this in the bud right here, guys. I'm gonna drop start this thing. I know that I have a video out there also that says don't drop start something, but that video is about don't drop start an easy start. This is not an easy start. They didn't have it even easy starts invented 31 years ago. I can drop start this thing. Now listen very carefully. Perfect. First pull. Did you hear that right there? That fired. That tried to start. Just from me doing that one little squirt in there, we just figured two things out right there. That would not have done that if the, if the chainsaw didn't have spark. It would not have done that if it didn't have any compression. So we know it has spark. We know it has compression. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's wicked good compression on this thing. I'm not even going to fool around with anything else. I know it's the fuel supply now. Probably the carburetor. So we are going to pull the carburetor off right now and have a look inside of there. And I'm really betting that the metering diaphragm is rock hard, dried out over the years being in storage and all that stuff. Let's get this carburetor off 
and have a look. We got the carburetor off now. Let's put that aside and have a look inside this carburetor. I'm going to take the, you know what? I know it's the metering. I already, I haven't had this apart, but I know it's going to be the metering diaphragm. I'm going to take the fuel pump diaphragm off first. Let's have a look in there. Real easy on this one. It's one screw, just a flat screwdriver. Pull that apart. Ooh, ooh, that's really nasty. That's actually really nasty too. See those little flappers right there? That flapper and that flapper, those are not supposed to be curled up like that. So we're gonna have to replace that diaphragm too because that is obviously not working properly. Now let's take the metering diaphragm off and see what the other side of that carb looks like. Here we go. Four screws out. And look at this. Look, oh my God, look at this. Can you hear that? That thing's rock hard. That's our, definitely our problem right there. So what do we got to do now? We need a carburetor kit. I think I might have a carburetor kit for this thing. We got a Walbro HDA carburetor on this thing. We've got an HDA carb kit. Difference between those two diaphragms, the metering diaphragm and fuel pump diaphragm. Staggering difference. They're just beautiful. This carburetor is so ridiculously clean inside of here. There's no sign of varnish or there's not a speck of dust in this thing. Needle works perfectly. I am not even going to hit this with carb cleaner. I'm not going to clean this thing at all. I am simply going to put two diaphragms back in the metering diaphragm and the fuel pump diaphragm back in there with two new gaskets. We're going to put this all back together, put it back on the saw, and we'll see how it runs after I do just that. All right, moment of truth coming up shortly. I didn't prime it this time with the carb spray. I'm not gonna do that, we're gonna go old school. Uh, the only other thing I did with this is I reset the low speed and the high speed screws. They were pretty much dead on anyways. I just uh, lightly seated both of those screws in and then turn them both out one turn each. So that's one and one on this. Seems to be a common thing for these old saws. You do them wall bro carburetors one and one, and uh, it, should, it should work. Fine tuning after that, but it should work. Here we go. I always get nervous during this part of the video because now I'm gonna find out if this whole video was a bust or not. Here we go, chokes on, on off switches on. My ventilation system is ripping right now. Don't worry about me. Let's try her out. Awesome. Look at that, you can actually see chain oil coming out of there without the bar and chain on. That is a beautiful thing when you fire something up like this. Now we know the oiler works on this old saw too. This is awesome. Now we get to go outside and try this thing and see if it'll actually cut wood like it used to. You know what though guys? We're gonna do that tomorrow morning. I know that it's only a half a can of beer, but this is still a deadly weapon and I'm gonna wait till tomorrow morning. By then the, the uh, chainsaw will be nice and settled. I'll have the bar and chain on it. Um, I'll have time to sharpen the chain with this little thing right here. You guys wanna see a review on one of these? I got that up in the information button for you too. I'll have that all done. I'll have all my safety gear on, my PPE, and we'll see if this thing cuts wood tomorrow morning. Good morning guys and girls. What a beautiful day it is out here right now. As you can see, I got all my PPE on, my personal protection equipment, all that stuff. 
I got my chainsaw sharpened up. I got it tacked right out to 9,000 RPM, just like it should be according to the manufacturer. And you know what? I already have this thing warmed up, been warming it up for about five minutes. Let's see how this thing cuts. She's a beauty, eh? Woo! I told you guys, these are badass chainsaws. Everything on this chainsaw works just like it did 31 years ago. It cuts like brand new. I am so happy with this. I had fun doing this. I hope you guys had fun watching this. Put some comments down right underneath this video and uh, let me know what you think. Sure appreciate it if you give me that thumbs up button, that like button. And uh, share this with your friends. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. And uh, it's still a little bit early for me in the morning, guys. Till the next video, Steve out.